Hello guys, how are you doing? My name is Guillaume here at Thurman today and I have the absolute pleasure to be sitting with Laura Cox. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. Laura has been very early on the YouTube game. Um, That's right. Doing like yeah. some really viral videos about 10 years ago now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It feels like a really long time. It's <laughs> already 10 years. <laughs> uh, uh, but I mean, since then you've established yourself not only as a massive guitar player, but also as a songwriter and a touring musician. Yeah. Now um, my main activity is uh, touring with my band, and I'm really happy with that. Cool, that's what you're doing at the moment. Yeah, we are, uh, we are touring Germany at the moment, and we had a day off, so we stopped by, and uh, happy to be here. Thank you, thank you so much. Yeah. That's not much of a day off, but no. it's pretty really cool. <laughs> if someone who didn't know you went to come to a show, what mm -hmm. kind of music should you expect? Is it your own songs? Is it a bit of everything. Yeah, some people think they, they're they going to hear uh, what I uh, upload on YouTube, mm. uh, some uh, classic rock covers, but uh, I don't want to do that with my band. Uh, it's uh, all about uh, original songs, mm -hmm. uh, classic rock song. Uh, we like to define our style like uh, Southern Heart Blues. Uh, so it's yeah, style. <laughs> yeah it's, our, it's our songs, uh, cool. classic rock show. Okay, did you write that as a band or are they your songs and did you find musicians on the way? Mm. And it's a band. Uh, I uh, mostly write with uh, the other guitarist, okay. Mathieu. Uh, so we started the band together, we, uh, we, we write songs together and then we arrange everything with the, the whole band. Oh, cool. Yeah. It's really inspiring for me to see you, like people that I got to know on YouTube and me sort of kind of growing up, I was already 15 as well, but watching people like you play and, and realizing that, you know, they're not all American or English or anything, yeah. that's pretty inspiring. Yeah. So that, was, that was personally really cool. Yeah, because they, at the time, they, there weren't many, many French people or many girls playing guitar yeah, uh, on YouTube. Uh, but now there, there are hundreds and yeah. uh, millions <laughs> yeah. of, uh, of great guitar players. I'm just saying that because uh, Philippa, uh, who's a, I, I always get confused because I can't believe it's true, like she's 12 or 13 now and she's she's doing amazing stuff on YouTube, on her channel, uh, on the Tom and channel as well and like seeing young people and young girls like her just being so good at everything yeah. is just, it's, <laughs> it's awesome, it's, uh, it's still a really good platform for creativity and yeah and you were very inspiring in that, oh, so thank that's you. that's cool, <laughs> thank you. Uh, so, that's your live rig, that's what you yeah. use on stage. Yeah. What do you use on stage? So, first of all, my main guitar is uh, this one. It's a Backer's Duke, it's my signature guitar actually. Uh, it's Japanese, handmade, uh, and I, I, I love it. I've been playing on it uh, for five years now. I've always loved Les Paul style okay. guitars. When I got my first uh, paycheck, uh, I, uh, I bought uh, myself uh, a Gibson Les Paul. And then I uh, started looking up on the internet um, and I, I found backers and I, I love their instruments. I love the finish, it's a uh, satin. I, uh, I have Lawler pickups. Uh, it's um, Imperial? Yeah, Imperial, Imperial, High Wind Imperial pickups. Uh, custom inlay, my signature on the headstock. Um, I like a uh, fat, fat neck, so it's a 50s kind of nice. neck. Um, fat strings as well. Uh, uh, no, I usually play on um, uh, Ernie Ball uh, 10 to 46. Okay. But uh, for um, for our last tour, my fingers were hurting, okay. so I decided to uh, uh, lighten the strings. So these are uh, Ernie Ball 9 to 46. Okay. Um, they look bigger from here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is my main guitar, and I. Uh, I love it. I yeah, <laughs> it's it's in some love. Yeah, <laughs> it's really worn in the nice way. I, I cannot imagine how cool that must be to see your name on a headstock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The team, backers team, was yeah. great with me, and they they let me choose uh, the woods they nice. uh, they they use. They they no, I'm really really happy with this one. And uh, more recently, I got a new guitar. It's uh, made by a French luthier, uh, Loïc Le Pape. It's kind of a signature too because it 
I don't think it exists uh, elsewhere. So it's a um, fire V made of steel with a one humbucker and it's uh, really fun to play. As for the amp, uh, I've been playing on orange amps uh, for, uh, for years now, as long as I can remember. Uh, this one, my main uh, head is a Rocker Verb 50. And uh, I'm going to get another one because uh, on stage I, I play with uh, two amps at the same time. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm going to get the bigger model, the 100 the watts. 100, yeah. yeah. Uh, but it, it works. Uh, it works really great live. So they're absolute monsters, yeah. and they're built as tanks as well. Yeah. Like they're indestructible. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the the other day when we were in Spain, my manager um, let the head fall from a okay. from the 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 trunk. This I one. Think. Yeah. Yeah. And I, th I thought it were dead. Then we I plugged it and no, it worked yeah, fine. Yeah, well, so. it sounds good to me. Yeah, yeah. So you're playing with two amps. Are you running like stereo? Or no, not? it's mono. Mono, okay. Uh, it's uh, the Just same. Louder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, that way I have my sound uh, left and right okay. behind me and cool. uh, I, uh, I, I hear myself better. So this is my main, a main guitar and my board. We have uh, my uh, wireless system tuner. AB box because I'm using two amps, uh, and then my main pedals are my uh, overdrives. I really love the uh, J Rocket Audio Archer, yeah. which is a clone of Clone Centaur. Uh, so for for my solos, I uh, always uh, put this one on. Mm. I have the Solo Dallas Storm, uh, which uh, I mostly use for a bigger uh, rhythm section. My uh, bass sound. That's for my solo. The Archer. And this one for lead parts into the songs, but okay. not, not for the solos. So I feel better with this one on it. It's very often on. Okay, yeah. yeah, it's a bit less for I mean, it adds. Yeah, this one is less <laughs> less gainy, and yeah. Um, this one, yeah, this one uh, more for the, the solos. Uh, I need some extra juice. Yeah, I mean, the outro works for everything. We yeah. use it on the big board here. And it's yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's great. And I've got my little uh, wah pedal. The thing I like with this one is that uh, there isn't any switch on it. There's no switch. Yeah. So when you step on it and it's on. So it's uh, yeah. with the heels on stage, it's really easy to use. I so. can only imagine. <laughs> and um, my uh, volume boost for my solos. So when I, uh, when I, when I when I play solos, I have to uh, activate this one and this mm. one. Yep. So you're running the boost in the effects loop. Yeah, yeah, oh, cool. because uh, otherwise I don't have the volume boost. I really need the, the volume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's cool. I don't mm -mm. see a lot of people doing that, like boosting in the loop and just. That's yeah, I have to because uh, if I don't have that, uh, no one will hear me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Play. Yeah, because the, really the guys playing. Uh, Behind me, yeah. uh, no. <laughs> You're just like boosting the power amp. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. That's uh, that's really cool. Uh, this one is a delay, analog delay by uh, Anna Sounds, a French uh, company, yeah. uh, which I really like. I mostly use it on uh, some uh, slow uh, slow songs, uh, just for some parts. Uh, I I don't use it on, the on the everything. Lead? Yeah, it's uh, on some leads. Okay. And it's, um, I set it pretty short, it's not a really long, long delay. Okay. And uh, I like it that way, so... So it's a really nice analog delay. It sounds uh, amazing. It works great with me, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean the guys at Anna Sound... This, I, I, oh, you, you know them? Yeah, I, I, but I only met them this year, to be honest, and f like... They just handed me a card made out of wood and I was like, yeah. <laughs> okay, just that, just that, and the pedals sound amazing. Yeah, and, and we're working on a, on a pedal together. Are oh, you? Yeah, um, yeah. That's cool. Because I, I, I love their, their stuff and uh, I'm working on a special, special pedal. Okay. But I, I can't really tell right now, Jeez. but it's a, a special uh, limited edition pedal mm. that 
uh, I'm going to use on stage because I really need it. <laughs> and, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's well, looking going. forward to that. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for showing us everything. Thanks a lot. It was um, a pleasure. Uh, what can we expect from you in the future? A new album. Uh, yes. We finished the recording, and uh, it's going to be out uh, normally around September or October, um, and it should be available here in Germany too. And we'll be Internet. touring. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and we'll be we'll be uh, touring uh, Germany again in September. Cool. So, yeah. Hope well, to see if you, you again. if you're bored in the area. Yeah. Any, we know anytime. where to go. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, this was Laura Cox here at Thurman. My name is Guillaume, Jill, Julian, whichever. And uh, uh, I'll see you guys very soon. Thank you.